We are on the beach at the 2016 49er FX World Championship. Paris Hankin and Helena Scott have just qualified for the U.S. Olympic team in this class. You guys, does it feel real? Helena, you just hit the beach. You're going to be an <laughs> Olympic athlete. How's that feel? Um, it's not real right now. Um, we didn't think we would know this result until two days from now. Um, so it's going to take a while to sink in, but we're obviously over the moon and just really grateful for the people who've helped pave the way for us. Paris, there's a reason you clinched early. The past two days of sailing, you guys have absolutely been on fire. What does it say about you guys that you're peaking at the moment when you had to the most? Yeah, um, we're really happy with our results. Our goal wasn't to just beat the other Americans, it was also to perform at this event and um, ultimately beat other teams as well. So that's what we're doing and we're very happy. So it's one of those things where you kind of like wake up the next day and you're like, I just did that. <laughs> so yeah. Our new week goal is to make the medal race. Yeah, you still have two more days of racing left. You have the world's best competition here, Helena. What are you going to do to finish strong at this event? Yeah, this is arguably the most competitive regatta of the quad because multiple teams from every country are here, and it's the Olympic year. So um, there are 42 boats, not 20 like the Games. So we're just going to make the most of the competition, enjoy the atmosphere of being in clear water and being on home waters, and just give it our all for two more days. How are you guys going to continue to increase your performance and get as ready as possible over the next six months, Paris? Um, well, we uh, planned out a perfect schedule in our minds that we hope to execute and um, you know, find some good people to train with and go from there. We'll do a couple of regattas in Europe in the spring and then the rest of the time we'll be in the Rio venue. Um, that's the plan. You guys just hit the beach 10 seconds ago. Who are you about to call? Who's first on the list? I don't know. <laughs> well, Hans is out racing. <laughs> um, Hans Hankin, 49er athlete, doing great also this week. Yep. Um, so we'll be following them closely. And um, my mom and my dad, they're in different countries right now. But I think my dad's awake. <laughs> I'm sure he is. And What about yeah. your parents? Yeah, just the parents. And I guess everybody. <laughs> I don't know. We're excited to tell our Facebook fans today. It's, um, we have a really fun community on there. Did you guys expect that in your first full-time Olympic campaign you would get to the biggest stage that there is in the sport? Well, eight, eight years ago I was learning how to sail um, and did four years of 29er sailing and then four years of college sailing um, with some, you know, with Paris kind of overlapping and so it's pretty surreal for me, and I feel really lucky to be able to sail with Paris. Um, I know that she has something special, and I had a little feeling all along, but you just never know until you can confirm it. So, How about we get your coach in here real quick? Ah, really? Willie! Get in here. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Willie, what do you have to say about the job that these girls have done so far this week? Uh, I think that they've been sailing awesome i think that uh really they've been super focused on the process and every single race just go out there and and take care of business you know focus on the important things and today that was really important the course was uh pretty obvious what was working and so it was really a matter of just going out and and executing what needed to be done and and they did a great job of that and um it shows <laughs> Paris, this is the biggest regatta of your life. How important is it to have somebody like your coach out there helping you through it, helping through all the motions? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely important. Um, I obviously lean on Helena a lot, but there's always a, a positive in leaning someone else. <laughs> Literally, you lean on me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Willie has been with us for the qualifying so far, but we can't forget about all our other coaches that have been working with us, like Ramon and the U.S. sailing team, Luther, Charlie, all of them. It's its not just Willie, it's also everyone who has helped us. And we're there, so grateful. There are also lots of people, not necessarily coaching, but um, helping us, you know, fundraising and logistics and stuff. So they know who they are, and we thank you a lot. Still partway through the World Championship, but we have our first two Olympians. <laughs> with the U.S. sailing team, Sperry. <laughs> Congratulations, guys, and good luck tomorrow in Gulf Fleet. Thank you. Thanks, Will.